<laughs> but I, the city is kind of an additional character here. I mean, you make London look amazing. It's that brilliant thing between not being too sort of gritty and typecast gangster London, and it's also not the Richard Curtis rose-tinted London's fantastic and lo- the palace is right next to Downing Street is right next to the London Eye. It's a, it, was that important to you to create the character? Yeah, definitely. Well, I've, I, saw, I don't live too far from the city myself, so and I go jogging around Canary Wharf and I know all those kind of nooks and crannies and I see these amazing angles. And I think some, a problem that a lot of modern British filmmakers do, and I, I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not knocking anyone, but it's just they quite make for quite parochial, grey feeling films. And I wanted to make something where it felt like Tokyo or, or Hong Kong, and I called it Neon Noir. And it was like not being too literal with London and doing the London Eye and Big Ben, but just using sort of glass, chrome, steel, neon, brushed concrete, and just using a different texture of surfaces and a different palette. And hopefully we kind of created a different look for the film. And people who watch it say that the city looks amazing. And a couple of guys from your debut feature,